Diz is like, you know, in my opinion, the most volatile, dangerous, unpredictable battle rapper on the planet. You already know who I am. My name is Battle Rap. You guys together would ball out. I mean, y'all some bosses in the club. Y'all can see each other floss out, but Drake, it'd be hard for you to compete with a boss like Arcane, because you know as soon as he steps up in his spot, he gonna buy all the bars out. You are not a man. You a hologram. You are not for real. All the caustic bars you jammed, yeah, they had a caustic feel. You must be a welder, Arc. That gotta be your job for real. That's why they call an Arc welder because you hide behind a mask and the only reason you got spark is because of the bars you steal. That 4-4 revolver would chip the side of your skull and cut the corners off. Like I sent it through a Photoshop frame. Watching his body drop was like being in the audio shop because you looked on the walls and saw his organs all hang. Ooh. I will drag his body up and down the hill like I'm part of a motocross gang, dangling him from the side of the motor while he's tied to a rope by his ankles till he's lacerated and all maimed. I will drag him till I expose his top and open his raw brain. If you would have seen his autopsy from long range, you would have been like the Ninja Turtles and swore to God that you saw Crane. Ooh. You ain't from Scarborough, you're from Victoria Park, Kane. Just know your position and know your part, Kane. Stop saying you got animals with the 40s on deck with you when that's not who we know as Arcane. Oh. Go to war with me and you get torn apart. I'll leave you with a broken heart so you have to replace the issue with mortar parts like Tony Stark's Kane. Keep it going to four minutes like he did, give me the same. Arcane, even if you open up a fucking arcade, you can open a box and insert another token. This is where the game's over, I'm not playing. See, from day, see most of y'all never bothered to look up the definition of Arcane. It means hidden secret. So from day one, I knew there was something he's not saying, but you know that that all changed when I found out the amount of bars that this fraud claims. So in the long run, you know that he never chose a smart name because judging by all the shit he rocked, you clearly don't know who you are, Kane. Oh. Fuck this Slavic dude. I will send a tsunami to demolish you. Open up the ground around town and swallow you along with your Twitter and the seven faggots that follow you. <laughs> Man, I'm battling you because I got nothing else to do, so fuck you. I'll smoke you like half a gram. This ain't a battle, this is a trip for me to Amsterdam. <laughs> Check my resume. Everyone that fucked with me ended up falling asleep in coffins. You better proceed with caution because beefing with me is not an easy option. Every one of my random 16s is shocking. I'm like Stephen Hawkins. When I speak, people can't even believe I'm talking. <laughs> You think you're gonna beat me? Then Christopher Reeves is walking. I rip his skin off and use a meat cleaver to beat it off and then leave him there looking naked in the middle of the street with his bones hanging like the trees in autumn when their leaves are dropping. He wants to be down with the streets. In fact, if he was in America, he would want to be on smack. He's not a real MC. He's just a white piece of crap. You're from Montenegro. That's the closest you'll ever get to being black. Whoa. Shut up, you little pussy. You sound like you sniff coke. This ain't a battle. This is me giving the poor little one of these kids hope. He thought this was his opportunity to finally show the world how he spits dope. But no one gives a fuck about you, faggot. They just want to hear my gin jokes. Oh, and your boy, Jin. Jin, we from supposedly rolling with crime bosses to now posing with Christ crosses. You're both basically making me quite nauseous. The shape of your face and your eye sockets make it harder for you to race in your rice rockets. When your people go to space, they take rice on the rockets. Don't even try to talk shit. You spend 90% of your time designing fiber optics and the other 10% you're blindfolded catching flies with chopsticks. <laughs> Stick to causing accidents from breaking limits, nitrous oxide, racing civics. My racial disses are amazing with it. I'm surprised the movie Crash didn't have more Asians in it. It's round one, I'm back in Sweden, I'm ready to pull the Mac and back slap heathens, yeah! You get smashed in smithereens left inside of a casket bleeding, I'll turn your whole pad into a camping region when I provide every member from the family tree with their own back to sleeping, yeah! And you know what I'm gonna do after that? Set off the bomb and then your squad starts to scram, they losing legs, arms and hands like the marathon the kids in Boston ran! Yeah. Accepting this battle was your first mistake. 
You wanna stand off, I'll pull an axe and chop your hand off with a dirty blade so fast. You just stand as it turns in place, does a full circle, it comes back from you right in the waist. And when it does, it gonna look like we're watching the moon orbiting Earth from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> this battle gonna feel worse than squabbing with Conan. After we learned Super Saiyan combos from Gohan and like Goro from Mortal Kombat, he also has four hands. No! <laughs> Oh, you forgot that I know, fam. You got murdered by your son, then had a meltdown. You frosty in a snowman. I walk up to the top of your porch and walk to the door. Grab your little toddler by his throat, glance, and check him down 12 steps like an alcoholic anonymous program. Show him to his block to get him. Get his body injected with toxic venom. If Great Dads loves his bodyguard, he can get bodied with him like Princess Diana's car collision. You look like... You've been spending a little bit of time on the track. You lost a little weight, buddy. You must have ran like 900 laps. <laughs> you went from weighing 500 kilos to 400. Like, how prideful is that? Like, congratulations, cunt. You're finally fat. <laughs> really? You're going to make fun of me for being a terrorist? Call me an Arabian? Like, that's so fucking genius? You're going to pander to the crowd, make me look like an outsider because you're into fucking sucking penis? <laughs> and these people are friendly. This is not the morals your country teaches. Because you guys welcome all races. You got love for all faces. So don't let the hatred come between us. Because if y'all co-sign this piece of shit, you go against everything that makes you Swedish. <laughs> you told Dirtbag Dan, I remember, he said Norway has a lot of oil. And you said that to Dan in his bars. I went and researched your oil reserve, and it ain't that really large. I mean, you faggots barely have enough to gas up your cars. Oh, you don't think you're low on oil? Well, guess what? By Arabic standards, you are! <laughs> I'm not playing, Henry, it's fact. You'll get your skeleton smashed and your chest will be shattered, and I'll put your leg in a cast, your head in your lap, and put an end to your babbling. I'll level you flat. I'm on a different level of battling. I'll show up intersecting your path with a javelin. Show up wherever you at and like a basketball ref, I'll check you in traveling. Oh. Yeah, you beat your wife? I heard you fucking picked her up and you shook her. I heard you fucking beat her on the head with a stick, kicked her down a staircase and you pushed her. I guess when she told him, Henry, take me clubbing, he completely misunderstood her. So, so imagine you beating that woman with her dad. He can't even sleep at night. I mean, if you really beat your wife and that's something that happens in real life, then God gave you a daughter as a karma so when she grows up and has a husband that beats her, you can know what it feels like. Because oh. it's terrorist attacks or the same method how he raps. We were building C4 together, you know, setting up some traps. He was the one supposed to work on the wires instead he left them attached. I guess that goes to show even when you're making bombs, your setups are whack. Bomb? Motherfucker, you're not hard. If I get robbed today, I'm putting someone in the arm bar. And if the swap park outside, I'm lighting the Glock spark. Going outside, strapping a bomb to a cop car and fleeing the king of the dot like, Allahu Akbar! Bro, bro, don't be mad that these fans supported me. I'm like battle rap authority. I bitch slapped cannabis and made him pull out a notepad and pass the torch to me. So if you don't want the same to happen with you, then just act accordingly. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even here to battle you. I'm here to attack you morally. What's this, bro? This is not even a man. That's a hoe to me. Bro, you, bro th 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 you're not even a battle rapper. This is not where this cat's supposed to be. You should be somewhere at Victoria's Seat, shopping for bra straps and hosiery, stumbling through the front door, holding two bags of groceries, falling over like, ah, I just smashed my ovaries. Bro, you have the fucking swag of a fucking orange tree. <laughs> If you lived in America, you know how much of an Anglo-Saxon bro you'd be? You'd use words like rad and totally and do hacky sack and motor. <laughs> I've traveled all over the world with accolades. I've battled globally and you just known as a faggot locally. So in more than one way, you can't come close to me. Bro, no. Lebanon, fucking bomb, Osama Bin Laden, something on. Blibbity blibbity blue blah, I didn't hear a thing that you said. You just mad because when you go to the Middle East, they make your bitch ass wear a veil on your head. <laughs> But right now the curse is broken. I wave with electromagnetic pulse and I burst you open. I'm the bad man from the West Coast. I'm West Coasting. If you disagree, catch a backhand like the U.S. Open. You have the skin pigmentation of Greg Oden, but you are as intimidating as Seth Rogen. 
Let him joke. Don't wave your hands. Let him joke. I'm never joking. Bitch, I'd even wrestle Hogan. I'll grab Jersey Swift by his neck and choke him like an episode of Greco-Roman. He wants to be a gangster, then the tech exploding. You will find him in his sweater soaking H-E-M-O globin. Never match the prince. But a new dawn has to begin. I'll hit you with this handcrafted ass whipping that I've mastered within. And smack you so fast in your chin, you accidentally do a tiger swipe and automatically spin, and your back will fall apart faster than the wall when it collapsed in Berlin. <laughs> When I'm spitting, I'm risky. An Egyptian guy, gypsy, if the 5950. Spitting rhymes like I was addicted to sniffing lines swiftly. Unbelievable, like my vision was depicted by Ripley's. Feel the winter time shifting, sending shivers in your spine like you were in the sky drifting. This suspicious guy's tripping. You think you earn a decent living because you work a six to five chicken thigh flipping. I'd rather kill a guy than live my life simping. Get caught by the pigs tonight that's wishful type thinking If you think that I would ever live inside prison Get the nine, hit him, then I'll dip to a crib that I've hidden You ain't got shit on my rhythms I'm disaster The dude with a bunch of clever disses plus a Beretta that never misses Effortlessly I sever heads in less than several minutes You will never find a better lyricist, I'm on a different level of physics You follow the curriculum while I'm bending the limits I'll jaw check you and send you to the medical dentist And have your grill looking like it was infected with syphilis Better get my dough right Cut that check with 11 digits before I push that snow white like seven midgets. I can beat you at your own game. Guns or drugs, you never see me fail. I'm a born hustler, give it to you in detail. Move ecstasy in envelopes, that's what I call email. So no one wants to react, but out here this is the West Coast. You're a fucking foreigner. You, you a fucking tourist from Florida. I'll put you in the back of a hearse or a coroner with a sign on it that says welcome to California. After every fucking thing that I did for this scene, I got a nobody trying to air me out with a bunch of personal schemes. From the fan mail that I'm getting and all the love that was given, telling me I hold down Cali across the world. They know I must have a vision. The West never died, I carried on my back and walking around as a one-man division. So you, need to, so you need to watch out for your intentions with every punch that you're spitting and make one fast decision. Either go against the God that created you or say thank you to me because I'm the only reason that your punk ass is living. You want, you, want, you want to take the spotlight, but you haven't even got your feet wet. I mean, let's say you pulled a miracle and beat me today, right, Mega? How you gonna hold down Cali? Who are you gonna kill in the scene next? What you gonna do? Call out Arsenal? Maybe take a shot at T-Rex? What you gonna do? Turn king overnight? Please, Def. You're not gonna reign supreme, they ain't gonna make you king. Wake up, you're living in one fucked up dream because there's a world you haven't seen yet. So one thing that's certainly clear, that my only purpose in here is to murder this fiend tweaker and for you to learn as a person, it's never worth it to get ether, especially when this doesn't further my career. So if I could perfectly word it, even though I'm earning cheese here for every word that I speak, it still isn't worth it for me either. They should, they should send your fucking faggot ass back wherever they found you. You thought you were gonna come here and change all our opinions about you? Look, bro, take a second out now. Look at everyone that surrounds you. They got that look on their face like, wow, our scene could do a hell of a lot better without you. You are, you are a dime a dozen rhyme for nothing. There's nothing special about you. As long as people like me exist in the scene, you'll always be forced to try to live up to some hype you'll pretty much never amount to. <laughs> but I don't hate you, Mug McNasty. Taliban likes you. In fact, we're quite impressed. And to be part of our culture, you wouldn't have to earn your stripes for going on Al-Qaeda quest. You wouldn't have to go to war or fight the best. Because you passed your driver's test. In your culture, that counts technically like surviving death. You don't seem to see where I'm going with the joke here, do you? <laughs> when it comes to terrorist shit, Arabs are going cuckoo. And according to the latest posts on Google, we also own more liquor stores than you do. <laughs> your arteries are blocked from all the lard that's entering, clogging entry, not receiving blood to your heart, so technically you keep on scarfing that box of jelly beans, your cholesterol's in jeopardy, and the doctors gonna have to amputate your leg or your arm eventually. <laughs> I'm from America, the land of fat people, and God we trust. Shopping malls with all types of spots for lunch, fried meats, extra toppings, and larger crusts. What I'm trying to say 
is, dog, you belong to us. Oh!